Your company is, by many measures, outgunned. You've been losing market share, and one of your competitors, Sprint, is about to get stronger one way or the other. Why invest in your company? Well, that's a, a fascinating set of questions. First of all, I think that's an outdated view. If you go back the last six months since we announced this transaction and fought for it and closed it today, T-Mobile has made tremendous progress, not only in the deployment of its LTE network, but the launch of the Uncarrier, the launch of the iPhone. And I've got news for you, we're growing. Uh, and that's a different item. If you look at Q1, you look at the churn rates, things are moving very well. Stop in a store and you'll see volume that you've never seen. And you know, as far as the uh, uncertain, you know, I, I think I've been hearing for six months now that Sprint's about to get stronger. And you know, frankly, I think we're taking a lot of the playbook and executing it already. So I don't really care what they bring because I know what customers want and between us and our new friend in Metro PCS that has become part of our family, we're hitting on all cylinders. So that's what it's all about. And I think as you see us deploy this company over the next quarter or two, $25 billion, 6.4 billion of EBITDA, 2.7 of cash flow, by the way, far more profitable than Sprint. I think the more likely target for us is the one that we've got straight in our headlights, which is AT&T. And I think by us focusing on them, the big winner is consumers. One more question on Sprint, though, John. You sure. know SoftBank, one potential partner from your days as the CEO of Asia Global Crossing. That's Who right. would you rather compete with, Sprint plus SoftBank or Sprint plus Dish? Well, you know, this. <laughs> you know what? I will let those uh, guys wrestle each other for a little while. And I, right now, I hope they fight for another year or so. Because <laughs> frankly, while they're over there wrestling, um, you know, what's not happening is the focus on the customers. And we are growing, focusing on customers. Once they get done with their little wrestling match, you know, frankly, not a lot's changed. Neither one of uh, those partners is going to bring into uh, Sprint what they need, which is innovation for the customer. Right. And by the way, right now what's most important is that together, we and now Metro PCS is part of our family, the reason we're not out wrestling for somebody else is we've got the, the weapons that we need to succeed. And John, I think that's the focus. And one of your weapons is making this bet that scrapping long-term contracts will win you more subscribers. If you're successful, though, there's a lot of talk that AT&T and Verizon will also ditch these long-term contracts. What happens then? Do we <laughs> launch a price war? Bring it on. Uh, you know, first of all, I don't think it's that easy, you know, just to say that we launched no contracts. We launched a 100% value plan. We launched a very simple rate plan, unlimited data, equipment installment plans. By the way, it's not as easy as it looked, and we had to take a lot of uh, change in our business in order to get that done. Now, first of all, I don't think they can or will reply because, first of all, they're making a ton of money, and they're picking the pockets of consumers, and right now, we're a small player. They'll probably ignore us. By the way, if they don't, We've got 10 or 12 percent market share. Come down and fight with us. We'd love to have that happen. John, we've only got about 30 seconds left. Sure. Here's the last question for you. Yep. Uh, you've just crawled into bed with the iPhone as Apple appears to be losing its magic. Does that concern you? Well, I don't know. I, I actually saw Q1 results, and I think they sold about 38 uh, million units. So I wouldn't say. Now, we love all the devices, but adding the iPhone is very important for us to have a full portfolio of devices and the simplest way for customers to get it. Uh, I don't think Apple's lost their luster. I just think customers have more choice, and we're glad to bring them all to our customers.